much but the thing about action is like like the thing i am a big fan of like action movies and stuff mm. told you like i love watching all that shit. even if it's fighting if it's done well and most of like of course it has story it is like i like to see the purpose they are fighting for cuz like imagine if you're just fighting and acting like fighting each other without no reason it seems like bland it has no meaning but if i'm fighting you to like save someone i love or you know to get somewhere or you know to fulfill some purpose or like taking revenge also like it adds more to every punch cuz every punch i'm giving you will have a reason right be like yes finally you kill mm-hmm. my this thing i'll fuck you up so i'm punching you for but a reason but then most most of the even if it's even if you're crazy and it's for fun like haha a fight killing is fun like something like lands right from bakano Oh yeah. Yeah, like mm-hmm. he he fights for fun, right? So every punch you see how how happy he's getting. Remember the training like mm-hmm. punching that guy or jumping like <laughs> you see him getting excited. You see his purpose yes. is intent. And he's stepping on his own oh, friends. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it still has some you, like so when you see that purpose it does make it, you know, more interesting basically. Mm-hmm. Which But is what Rick Ragnarok was totally missing. And these guys are basically like puppets fighting for the yeah that's what makes no like sense because these guys are supposed to be like proud warriors who are like really strong mm-hmm. and all that why would they be bought over by a company yeah no don't they also mention at some point that they want to fight for the sake of the fight or something like that yeah but that's such a stupid reason to just fight in the end right isn't that like the most common trope though like many in many that's the problem it's a common trope no but even if you see like yeah people, like yeah you can fight for money and all people do that a lot mm-hmm. you know you have sports here but again and a lot of people yeah they like fighting they train and stuff but it's the opposite of what they want here right mm-hmm. it's not like they're like okay i'm going to be controlled by you i'm fighting for you like basically it's being this is being decided by the company the mm-hmm. outcome what they do i think yeah. it's basically a, like a business uh, battle in the end yeah, yeah. that that pro is and this match fixing and stuff here as well so it's not yeah, even like this like you yeah. know it's a genuine fight mm-hmm. i remember undisputed again the movie series where they fight in prison at least over there like the prisoners have purpose even mm, though they can they fight out, yeah. like you know you can go to other prisons and fight there after you know, this thing you know you get taken to another prison to fight the big but okay it, there are companies involved who are sponsoring these prisoners but they are still promising freedom and the ones who are lifetime they are promising like release a better mm-hmm. life there so you're still fighting for some purpose and the prisoners are, they go through a lot you see them suffering you see them making decisions they threaten people outside the prisoners life so you know there's still some intent and story for what they're doing mm. like over there like they won't fight randomly and also you see the other prisoners enjoying it it's like a in prison game it happens a lot right so yeah that does make it interesting and even like if you see something like uh, like enter the dragon bruce lee's like even that's like a tournament style fight even that's like okay he's going to find out like this evil guy like this company like what is he doing he goes there on a mission and him participating in the tournament is like is part of his like undercover this thing you know to find out mm. what's happening and it's a it's like this tournament where fighters come all it's like a sport like ufc and stuff mm. so over there you still have a lot of interesting story a lot of mystery interesting characters and everything mixed in right it's not just you know like as you know it's not it's this is like a thumb fighting <laughs> we are controlling our thumbs basically <laughs> Right. Put it yes. Sure. It's basically stuff. Sure. Right. <laughs> That's. I think yeah. The the common trope of uh, criminals are like the bad guys just wanting to fight for the yeah, I must say. Yeah, yeah. you know, right. <laughs> for wanting to fight for the sake of the fight is like mm. completely shit on in Kenichi, because they keep showing like people coming to the dojo and wanting to fight <laughs> all the time. It's all over. But yeah, sorry, I didn't continue. Mm. they keep wanting to they keep showing these guys coming to fight in the dojo all the time and then mm. they just they just like the master just run circles around them like ha ah, okay tu aaya tu gaya so they they don't they kind of show these guys in very in, in not a stronger light and they just like ha ah, okay just a shit pro we, we have better criminals over yeah can you see is interesting my point being is that it's like a far better fighting manga than kengana ashura for me finally the episode of opinionated we've been talking about all this while <laughs> 